Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Matters of the Heart with your host Isidor Duckett. Man, I before I start just going into the next uh, program, I would like to just take a minute to express my gratitude to every person that have downloaded the 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 app and also liked and shared the YouTube videos. It means a lot. All the positive comments and especially the the negative ones i sometimes think we don't want to hear the negative ones for me i i don't want to say i'd like the negative ones more but the negative ones for me helps me i always call the negative comments the blind spots in your life you know sometimes people say good things about you because they don't want to hurt you but when people highlight things that you're not doing right those are the people that you must you must actually thank for those that must still go for the their license they will understand this concept that when you go for your driver's license they make an important effort to tell you that you need to say it mirror mirror blind spot and the blind spots in your life is the ones the people that help you you will always find when people get the opportunity to thank someone at a 21st at a wedding or at any big occasion they will always thank the people that have disciplined them they will always thank the people that have highlighted the things that they that they've done wrong so just a word of 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 thanks to everyone that have made the effort that gave the feedback and i trust that you guys will continue to support well this week I must be honest with you I am oozing with excitement and I'm not going to just let you guys in who my next guest is I'm going to ask maybe to just stick with me for 30 seconds as I do an introduction because I feel it's important that we make a fuss about people that 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 does well in life but also where they come from where they currently at and how they have trusted the process so Stay with me as I take you through um, just the introduction that I have gathered uh, about my my guest. He's from a community riddled with with gangsterism and crime, and has risen above every circumstance that came his way. And today, he is a family medicine physician at Grootskier Hospital and a lecturer at the Health Science Faculty. at UCT that's right ladies and gentlemen you've guessed it right that is Dr Randall Ortel and it is such a privilege and such an honor to have him amidst his busy schedule um don't worry i didn't bribe him i didn't offer him any money there is no appearance fee as yet we didn't discuss it but it's so good to have you welcome Dr Randall to matters of the heart Yeah, no thanks is it one. Thanks for having me, man. <laughs> Now, before we're going to go into the the conversation and just what we're going to talk about, let me tell you and I've shared with um the team in in the studio that if you normally make an appointment with a doctor, do you know that it takes you sometimes days to just get a slot? And um you know nowadays social media gives you the opportunity to to get in contact with people quicker. And um I've made contact with Dr. Randall via TikTok. Yes, via TikTok. And um we'll talk about the the TikTok app and 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 what's currently happening, but within minutes when I told him what I'm busy with and and just my heart for for our community he responded and I I found favor. And so Dr. Randall today thank you once again for making the effort. I know it wasn't easy. There's a lot of things that you're busy with, but I appreciate it. I want to say that from the offset. And the purpose for for this this program is is to highlight uh in our community and change the narrative what we used to see as cool. And and what we used to see as cool in our in our community is uh, um, young people walking around with a T-shirt that says "I hustle hard for what I have," but in the meantime, his mom mm. is still paying the sports scene account. Mm. Or or <laughs> or in our community, you've arrived if you wear a Fabiani T-shirt. And 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 those are the things that I want to change because what needs to be cool is someone that comes out of a home where it wasn't always favorable. 
but he pressed on. Mm. He came from a home where, where there wasn't a father around or, or the conditions wasn't favorable. But you know what? He said to himself or she said to himself that this is not going to be my story mm. and I'm going to change the narrative mm. around my upbringing. Mm. And so we've had uh, um, the deputy mayor here last week that comes from Mitchell's Plain. We had one of our young men that came through the recovery home. And what a perfect story because stories change lives and from our community you would find that men so often stories mm. <laughs> but but take us as if a kira stories as miskin skinner stories mm. and i feel that yes there's more than seven billion people if we can reach a million with your story where people say you know what if if he could do it then i want to do it then we've made a difference and an impact in in people's lives and so Let's start off by, by, by telling your story from where you grew up and, and just a little bit about your background for, for those listeners that haven't watched the TikTok videos or don't know your story. <laughs> okay, I think Isidro, I'll start off on a, on a Cape Flats manner. Yes, you know? sir. Uh, I'll call no? Ah. Yes. You know, so yes. Maybe sir. that gives the uh, the audience uh, my authenticity. So I know what I'm talking Absolutely. So, um, yeah, look, I mean, I, I'm, I'm Dr. Randall Hotel. I, um, you know, born and bred in Manenburg. I mean, I grew up there. I still say, uh, I, I say I grew up in the cement roads of Manenburg. Yes. Um, so our roads are not tarred. Yes. Uh, they are still not tarred. Um, I think the cement is of good quality. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's starting to, to waver now, but I mean, there's no potholes. Um, it's just like, you know. <laughs> which, which, which is a good thing. Yeah, there's no, there's no potholes. So I think, I mean, I mean, there's roads, whoever designed them and, and, and whatever idea it was, I mean, it's, it's solid, wow. right? Um, but we call it the cement roads. There are cracks and so forth and lines and whichever way they've put it in. Yeah. And we've used those lines to our, to our benefit, whether Absolutely. it was for marbles, whether it was for playing handball, whether Absolutely. it was for playing cricket, uh, whether it was for playing tennis, yes. soccer, whatever. We, we made it work um, in the streets for us. So that's why I grew up. I spent uh, most of my time there. I went to Primrose Park Primary in Manenburg. Wow. And then uh, from Primrose Park Primary, I went to Rhodes High School uh, in Mowbray. And then from there, I went to Stellenbosch University, studied, you know, I then did my, um, I studied medicine. Uh, I did the seven year program um, where you had to do your first year over two years type of thing, wow. you know. Um, but I wasn't worried. I mean, that was, I mean, I, 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 mean, I was happy that I got in. Yes. Um, and then university was just so much fun, you know. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, towards the latter part, so you remember all the good things. All the good things, absolutely, <laughs> uh, absolutely. You, you let's, let's stick to you, the good you, things. You forget the struggles you had in the beginning. Yes. You know, you speak about them, but I mean, yeah, uh, you've made it through. It's, it's part of the journey. It's part of the journey. So then, um, you know, I did my internship and community service at GF Jewish Hospital, which is in Manenburg. Yes. So it's customary when you study in, in, in the Western Cape that you that you get posted to another hospital somewhere else in the province. To, to uh, do in, your community in, service. In, in the country. First internship. Yeah. Uh, internship is, one, is two years and then community service is one year. Yeah. So it's customary that you that you you know get moved to another province. But, okay. um, you know, I just looked at this whole thing and I'm like, I live right across Chief Jewish Hospital. Uh, they meet all the requirements for HPCSA for internship. And it's in your community. I mean, I wrote a letter. I mean, that time, uh, you know, when I when I qualified, it wasn't this online system that uh, that the doctors have to use nowadays to 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 choose the allocations. Yeah. I just wrote a note, and I mean, within a day or two, I got a response to say, wow. "No, it's fine. You can you can go to wow. Yester." Because I said it's across my house. I mean, I wow. can literally stand here and look at it. Absolutely. And um, I mean, um, I wanted to work in my community for for the mere reason. Um, you know, I'm an ethical person and I like to be above board. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wanted my community to judge me because yes. I look in you. Absolutely. So, and they're not going to mince their words. That's right. So uh, if you can get it right there, if I can get my management right there, then, I mean, I can probably go anywhere in the world. And you, that's what you, I tell... You can you can manage and get it right correct. anywhere else. And that's what I tell the youngsters. I mean, if you can survive, you know, all these areas that people label as bad. Yes. And the way we have to hustle. Yes, sir. I mean, it's quite easy for you to fit in somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was it basically. And then, uh, you know, when Uster closed down, I went back to the university to specialize and, you know, I specialized in quite a few things. I, I was, I was going to get there. Doc, I, I don't want to uh, jump in there. I know you sort of just, uh, uh moved a, a little faster for me <laughs> and, 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 and getting to, 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 to where you are. But one of the questions that I have got, because again, you, you were part of, a, a community and you grew up in a place where you know it was so easy to to go the other way Correct. i mean you 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 look at it and like i said 
that is the narrative that we need to change. The, what we think looks cool. I, I can't understand how it can be cool to become what we now want to be a gangster, but you can only move from this corner to that corner. Mm. You can't take a taxi to another place. Mm. You can't go work. And you need to stand on the corner and asking people for, well, they are students now. I actually mm. want to make me a t-shirt and say, Ik get hier to mm, mm, mm. And that is something that we need to change because if you're going to end up making that excuse, then why don't you collect scrap? Because the guy that collects scrap, he can actually move around to mm. different areas. Mm. Why do you want to restrict yourself, become what you think is cool, but you can only move from one corner to the next, and that's it. Yeah. The two things that we um, we have in common is that I've also got a brother that whose name is Randall. Okay. And um, <laughs> I think I was 12 years old. Um, I'm going to use the, the fancy word, but I know you're going to use the, the proper word, a, a sliding door operator. Mm -hmm. So during school holidays, I was a taxi guard um, grew up in Hout Bay and I earned 20 rand a day mm. and I used to save my money mm. and I thought oh my word if you the the story of Dr. Randall would be from from taxi driver to doctor how did that process uh, uh, go for you in terms of how did you end up becoming a taxi driver? Was that something that you really wanted to do or you thought you know what this is making quick money mm. or, or, or if you can maybe just explain to the listeners why yeah. taxi driver. Yeah, Isidore, I mean, there's the, you mentioned an important point and uh, I think I just want to take you back. Um, you said, uh, you know, we, we know the guys, they get into uh, into gangsterism and drugs and yes. that sort of thing. So, I mean, the reason why they get into it, and this is my opinion, and I mean, people can test it if they want to, Yes, sir. is that those people don't have anything else. So at that point in time, yes. from where they are, that's the next best thing. I hear you. So for us, that has a different experience, that ex experience something else, we think like, ah, oh, that guy's so silly. Mm. Why, why, why does he do that? Yes, sir. But he hasn't had the same experience that we've maybe had. You know, he doesn't have um, 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 a bird's eye view mm. from, from, from what, what we've seen. Yes. And that's why it's so important to give the youngsters an opportunity. Wow. So I always say, you know, um, parents plays a huge role or guardians or whoever looks after somebody. So... I mean, not everybody's fortunate enough to have parents around. Yes. Um, and, 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 and maybe I should do more of this. But I mean, for the little bit that I do, I try to take the youngsters and show them, take a bit of a baby thing. Absolutely. Okay, so, Absolutely. you know, uh, take them somewhere else, you know, sit up a bucky and fatal us 80 plate and yes. let them just see a different surrounding. Wow. Because then it's easier for somebody to make a comparison. Yes. If somebody cannot make a comparison, You'll, you'll choose the next dan available an, option. Dan, dan but they know it. Yes. But that's all what they can. Makes perfect sense. So, 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 so that is what we need to do. We need to start creating opportunities. So wow. whether it is taking a child out of the area to go and work one day or two with you in a factory, it's nothing wrong. Wow. It's the experience of yes. it. The waking up, the catching a taxi, wow. the going to work. I mean, there's protocol, obviously. The factory means a look in it any. I'm just using that as an example. There's 100%. security, there's procedure, you must have uniform, you eat in the tea room, there's yes. rules. Yes. It's not like just at home where you do what you want and nobody yes. says anything. So that comes down to the point of what, what, whatever is socially acceptable in your community yes. is not socially acceptable anywhere else. Makes perfect sense, Doc. So until those guys or those ladies experience something else, yes. they can't make a comparison. Wow, that that is so... And, and for me, when I listen to it, is... You can you can only talk about what you know. Yeah. So if you haven't experienced something else, what do I talk about? Yeah. And it's it's like you said. And for me, when I was at that age, can you imagine a twelve year old as a as a taxi guard? What you get exposed to? Yeah. And then also, I come out of an environment where I explained just a little bit last week. I mean, I'll get to tell my story where my dad has been in prison all his life. Mm. I mean, he's got tattoos from his head to to his toes, tears in the eyes, you know, that whole Both bow tie and, 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 and stars on the ears. And one of the things that I said to myself, two things I said about my dad, because when he came out of prison, he ended up working on, on sea. I mean, that's that's the thing in Hout Bay. I said to myself, there's two things that I never want to do. I never want to work on sea and I never want to have a tattoo on me. Listen, the, the urge lately with all the tattoos and my, my, my one son, Malachi, he's actually at the bail tournament this weekend, 
fantastic footballer, but this whole tattoo craze with the youngsters and you know uh, uh, yeah. the the football going around, that sort of getting to me the tattoos. Mm. But because I looked at life differently, I said to myself, "That's not what I want." Mm. Why did you end up becoming a taxi driver? Yes. Yeah. No, I think I just wanted to. I was going to get to that point. No, now. 100%. So, 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 look. Essentially, I mean, I got in with um, um, with a merit bursary and and that type of thing, you know, to to pay the university fees. Yeah. Um, um, but it just wasn't enough because the university fees goes up every year. Absolutely. Um, and and and, um, you know, y- you don't always get full bursaries. I mean, you have to get one or two year, etc. Yeah. So so essentially, I mean, my tu- my my bursaries didn't cover my old tuition fee. Wow. Um, and then of course there's traveling and and you have to sustain yourself as a young person yes. and a young man. And now you already come from a marginalized community. Yes. Where you don't have much. You get to university and then there's people that have a lot. Yes. So, you know, you're always weighing yourself up, whether you like it or not. It's always that comparison. You always weigh yourself up. But, uh, you know, luckily, or I can probably say thank God, I mean, I was never, um, you know, sucked too much into those things. Because yes. all I knew was I'm in the program. Yes. Was out too easy. Yes, sir. Um, both of us have the same skeleton. Absolutely. You know, whether you're rich or poor, yes. you've got the same amount of bones. Yes. So, um you know, that's the way I, I sort of, you know, motivated myself or, or gone through it. Because, I mean, all I would say is like, these rich people, they, they were never in Manimbo. I've wow. got that experience, but I can also be, be rich one day. So, they, wow. but, they, but we can't compete. Wow. Um, so, yeah, essentially, I, 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 I saw that, look, the tuition fees are not going to make it. I looked around for some vacation jobs. Yes. Uh, that time, you would, what, what was customary is that you would do like the chain stores, you know, like the... Uh, the shop rides, the pick and pays, yes. the checkers, you know, the elites, the wholesalers. You would you obviously go and ask if you can be a packer or help or this or the other. Hard, hard and, craft. And I mean, it's like it, it was like ten rand an hour. Now, for me doing med school, um, I needed more time to sit down and study yes. because it's actually the volume of work and not really the 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 difficulty in mm. the work. The work is not difficult. Yeah, it's it's the volume that you have to cover the in in in, work, in, in yeah. the time. So I needed a job that that was a almost say a quick fix. Yeah. But something that, that I could, where I would, if I put in more, I would get out more. Yes, sir. So I thought yes, of what, what, what would that be, you know? And I didn't want to, to, to do something where I was dependent on people with selling things. Mm. Because they say, oh, come you update any. Oh, and you, you, know can't, you, you can't manage, you can't budget, <laughs> you can't this and that and the other. So I thought, let me do something where there's a service that people need. Yes. And they have to pay for that service at that point in time. Immediately. Come on. So, I mean, of course, that's how I, I, I looked at the taxi. The taxis are all over in Manenberg. And I thought, let me do this. Yes. So I, I, I researched what's the requirements. You need a PDP and all that stuff. I, I obviously did it because um, I was 21. Wow. So you need to be 21 years of age to get a PDP. Wow, interesting. Yeah, you can't just uh, get a PDP straight up when you're 18. Okay, there's um, a bit of knowledge again. Yeah, so 21, you need a PDP, you need a doctor's examination to make sure you're medically fit, um, and there you go. So, obtain the PDP with your license, etc. Then I needed to ask for a job. I mean, I was asking around. People were like, dude, what do you know about driving a taxi? Allah hat fi um, you know, you this is going to happen to you, this skin, is going to happen to you. Say, Kennedy, Owens, yeah. and D&D. And I, okay, I looked at these guys. I mean, I didn't back chat or anything. Yeah. This is what the owners are saying. So, um, so you in need. So, it's for Lee. So, so they lay them. And I kept on searching and searching and searching until I found, um, you know, I looked at people that, that, that does the school trips. Yes. So, obviously, on a Friday afternoon, after 12, there's, there's, there's no school. And then holiday times, there's also no school. The, no, so, no that's no the time I could yeah. jump onto the taxi. And that's eventually, essentially, how I, how I, how I, how I jumped into the taxi space. Wow. Um, and I mean... I had a card that was working with him. He was a seasoned uh, sliding door operator. Yes. So all I did was I applied my knowledge to what yeah. he taught me. Yes. And I and, modi- you, and you leave the rest to him. No, no, no. And I modified it. Wow. So the thing is this. I want people to think about this. You can do ordinary things. Yes. Right? But you must do it in an extraordinary way. I like that. I because like that's that. the only way you're going to capitalize. I mean, I was probably the only taxi driver that drove on a timetable. Second to a golden arrow bus. Which means people ah. knew that this guy, on a certain time, he's in town. On a certain time, he's in Manenburg. Other guys didn't do that. W- will you be able to, to, to sell that concept to, to maybe Kata or Kudeta? But well, no? it depends. I mean, nowadays, I mean, there's, 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 there's social media. It's quite easy. I mean, there's WhatsApp and so forth. That time, we had mix it. So, so, I mean, you would use it to the best of your ability. Wow. And I mean, that obviously taught me because I, I would work out at so many kilometers from Manenburg to town. If I take this route, it takes me so long. If I do this, it takes me there. Yes. Because I also needed to see the faster you drive, the more fuel you use. Absolutely. So there's certain areas where you cruise because that would allow you to, to, to sustain your tank for the whole wow. day. So those are the intricacies that people didn't discuss with me. 
Yes. That I figured out while I was working. Doc, would you would you say that um, you li- just listening to you, I I hear sort of a bit of a a, a strategist and and somebody that plans yeah. things and 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 before he goes into anything, this thing needs to make sense Correct. and 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 he needs to simplify the thing. Uh, um, th- that for me really stands out. I just want to go back to the point where you said when you when you were on med school, you looked at. You know, we we we've got the same skeletons. We 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 humans. We we've got challenges, and this is the thing that I, I want us to look at is that, you know, when you look at people, and besides what I'm doing now, I'm I'm also an undertaker on a Saturday. Okay. And well, I've got a funeral out on on in Busta on on Sunday. And what I realize is that you know what, no matter who you are, no matter where you stay, no matter what you drive, at the end of the day, we all dust. Mm. So it's not about what you accumulate because we know those things we can't take with us, mm. but it's the legacy that you leave. Mm. Correct. And and that for me is important because when I heard what you said, you 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 got the bursary out at Rhodes, and 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 was that for your academics? Uh, well, the initial was you had to do the high school. Yes. Um, and then obviously after high school, then um, I mean I got the bursaries uh, to go to. Um, to medical school. Wow. So, um, I mean, SAC2 was one of my main, um, uh, you know, main bursaries of the South African Clothing and Textile Workers Union. Wow. Um, wow. So, I mean, uh, the, he's the minister of, um, of, 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 of enterprises. I mean, uh, wow. uh, Ibrahim Patel. Wow. And then there's uh, Fahmi Abrams. So the people of SAC2, the clothing factory people would know it well. Look, they had me a cost to go to a spring queen to go to my ma. You know, so you needed to show your face there. <laughs> you, have, so say, you have to show up, I mean. Alhoewel, I'm not a modeling fan, I was forced to look. Listen, you need to you need to pay your due diligence, eh? <laughs> you need to pay your due diligence, but Do, it was Dr. fantastic N- times. Thank, thanks for that. That is, I'm, I'm listening to you and we, we definitely need to do, we need to do a part two, part three, because there's so many things that, that, w- sure. that we need to unpack. I mean, I'm not going to even go into the medical questions because the last time I asked somebody to explain to me what the uh, medulla oblongata is, mm. I mean, it, it was it was a whole day discussion, so I'm Correct. not going to go into <laughs> that. I just want to ask the next thing then, why a physician? Why why a doctor? Okay. Um I loved school and I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, my initial job that I wanted to do was to be a garbage collector. I think that's that's all I, over in the media. I, I heard that um, as well, yes. For the mere fact is, what I saw with my eyes yes. looked fantastic. Owens hang up you know. Um, and, then, and then you tell people in the community and they say, yeah, you know, like a government job is good. You've got benefits as medical aid, as this and that and the other. But again, when I look in retrospect, like those people that gave you that advice, that's okay. That's what they knew at the time. Absolutely. They didn't know anything different yes sir now it comes to the point of looking out for one another mm. and that is why i always look out for the next person and try to pay it forward people looked at my potential and wow. said randall you can do, do so much better wow. and that was my school teachers wow. um you know that was the high school i went to i mean we did capability testing we had a career guidance teacher uh, that actually sat down with you and listened to your story and do all these things on the computer wow. and it kicks out, you know, what, what your personality is, what your passions is and so and forth. And what, what will suit you and sort of Correct. What and what came out was is that I needed to go into a career where I, you sort of care for people, where I'm analytical. Yes. Where I'm a strategist. Yes, sir. Um, and where I advocate. Wow. So, I mean, of course, I, th- I thought of things like law and engineering and medicine and dentistry and, wow. and those sort of things. So I applied for them all and I got in and it was quite simple. I mean, I told my parents and all my dad said, Gaan wie zijn dokter? Mensen is altijd ziek. Dat was het einde van het. I mean, with my naivety. I mean, how do you question it? It's, yes. your, it's your parents. Yes. I mean, I, I mean, at that time, I mean, well, I don't even know what questions I should, I, 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 I should have asked him at that point in Absolutely. time. Absolutely. But I think what, 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 what impacted this decision was that, um, you know, one of his close friends was a doctor himself. I wow. mean, Dr. Abu Molana. He was, he, he was a, he was a general practitioner in Manenburg. Fantastic. And um, I mean, he played cricket with us. So I was an amateur cricketer as well. Um, um, Still playing, Doc? Uh, well, no. I left uh, at university because my dad said, "Kiki, has next sport. is net booker for you, know." So that was also a decision at that point in time. I'm not. I'm not like you just said now. Yes. I mean, you always thank the strict people in your life, you know, at weddings and funerals and those sort of things. So I told my dad, "Look, at that time, I was upset that wow. I couldn't play. Yes. But if I look at it, it was probably the best thing ever because wow. the medical campus was on Stella, on Tigerburg, um, on Tigerburg campus, the yes. medical faculty, and then 
if you wanted to play first team cricket, you needed to go to Stellenbosch, which means I needed to take a train with my oh, kit bag and all that stuff. So the logistics was a nightmare. I, I, I and I don't think I don't think I would have coped because I didn't have my car. I used the bus and the train and all that stuff. Nightmare. So so it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna work for me. And Absolutely. and obviously cricket is a whole day as well. Absolutely. You know, especially the the higher you go and so forth. So um, yeah, I mean we played cricket and I mean my dad's friend played with him. I mean they played in the in the third division. So it's like you start two o'clock in the afternoon. Yes. Till about six or so. Yes. So. Um, you know, that's obviously influenced his decision. So that's that's how I ended up uh, doing medicine. Wow. Doc, you, you, you're taking me into, and this is this is what our, our podcast is really about. Like I said, I'm not going to ask you any medical questions. It's really around career choices, sure. the career paths, because there's, there's a specific, there's a specific TikTok. Um, and I think it was out on the 30th of, of, of March where you did like, the the career guidance at uh, the new apostolic church out in in Manibur. that's correct yeah and um that is so key mm. and and for me last week even when i had the deputy mayor on we were talking about the, the importance of having that father figure in your life or or, or somebody that 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 that, that can, looks out for you that is so important yeah, yeah. and again I can just hear what you're saying at the time when your dad said to you you can't play cricket or yes you must do that you're like oh why but that those are the things that you thank yeah, him for yeah. and so when i look at the career choices what is it that's that's currently happening in terms of uh, um, the programs that's offered or, or i unfortunately couldn't get to because i really just wanted to sit in because that's something that i feel personally is yeah, lacking yeah where we are yeah. young people is concerned so so Isidro, what i use is, uh, what, what i do is is quite simple i mean obviously with my name and i mean i mean people can take it whichever way they want to yeah. whether i'm conceited or not it doesn't matter my name is out there um yes and, and, is, and, and people reach out to me on, on on every avenue so there's various institutions that reached out to me so i was obviously strategic you yes. know by planning this career yes. uh, uh, event or, or let me say the idea was actually born by 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 the leader of the church so he always tells me, Randall, says, I'll do the radio and on mm. the TV and so on. And we, we, you come to church and then you're gone. We're always in a rush, you know. Um, you know, don't eat for own soup. So I'm like, yo, but this is already part of my plan. I just needed somebody to help me because I didn't have the administrative time yes. and the logistical time to put the things together. He then appointed somebody to work with me and to set up things. So I could just voice note the person. They would get stuff in order yes. and we would check and so forth. And, and, and the person obviously already said just with that interaction with me, uh, she gained a lot because I showed her how to wow. do an electronic register, how to wow. create a barcode. So if people come in, they just scan their phone, the thing comes on their phone and they wow. fill in the register. Wow. So again, it was also proven to me on the night, people are scared of change. They didn't want to do the barcode. Absolutely. So they filled, it, they filled in the register manually. Yes. Now who struggled? The lady that needed to capture the thing because the handwritings were poor. Yes, but sir. I left that to them. I yes. said, I will leave this with you. Yes. Because this is the reason why I did a barcode and this is the reason why I did an electronic form. Wow so that we can capture the students' details. And the reason why I wanted to capture it was to send it on to the institutions. But let me give you the good story. So obviously we discussed it. Um, obviously we, um, you know, had the, had the institutions and stuff out there. And um, the kids could actually tell me what they wanted to do. I wow. actually gave them the platform to tell me what they wanted to do. And from what they said, yes. I, I, I guided them in a specific direction. That leads to a follow-up on the 20th of May. But the good news story is that there's one student that did very, very, very well in matric. Wow. He went to all sorts of institutions, they accepted him, yes. but there was no money. Wow. So the guy was at home for two years. Year College of Cape Town comes along. Yes. I chat to the guy, the guy says, no, let's have a look at him. Yeah. The, the, the gentleman from College wow. of Cape Town wow. sends me wow. a message and says, this man is, we're taking him um, for a full three year course and he's, 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 he's wow. fully sponsored. And if you know any other kids that you can refer our way for the second semester and so forth, oh because my. these institutions, are obviously, they're governmental or they, 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 they get subsidized and yes. so forth. So they have to obviously produce certain amount of students wow. from these areas. Now, let me tell you this. There is opportunities, Isu do. Yes, sir. If somebody tells me in Manneberg there's no opportunity, but now that is what I, you know, Doc, I'm listening to you now and... That's why I'm saying I'm, I'm enjoying this conversation and that's mm. why I say we need to have a part two or three. Sure. Uh, um, the unfortunate thing is we've, we've got a time allocation. Yeah. I, 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 I love this because the, the quick thing that people in our community, not everybody, but the quick thing that we can come up with is excuses. Yes. And, and the saying that I go with is excuses are disguised lies. Mm. Because if you really want to, I believe there's more people, if you want change, there's more people that want to help you. Correct. 
than people that don't want you to succeed. Correct. Correct. Do you want help? Do you want change? Mm. Do you want to get out of your comfort mm. zone? Listen, I I just want to to read something uh, um, uh, um, that I when I did my research that a a, comp, uh, a, a colleague of yours, uh, a member of the Solidarity uh, uh, Doctors Network Advisory Board, Dr. Angelique Kutsi said, Dr. Otel was doing a good job. We need to encourage and acknowledge positive people trying to make a difference. And we need more doctors like Dr. Otel to educate the people in the language they understand, mm. she said, quote, unquote. And I want to just end off with this for me is the impact that you make not only on TikTok, not only on social media, but that career guidance uh, uh, workshops that you have, we're going to see the, the, the benefits and the fruit of that. We're going to have more doctors, we're going to have more engineers, and that for me is, is heartwarming. That's why Matters of the Heart is there because mm. we talk about things that's close to our heart. Mm. The last thing that I want to just touch on and I want to read it to you because this happened on the 3rd of, of November and I want us just to quickly in the last uh, two minutes that we've got left, uh, the email said, good day, you are receiving this email as you are a qualified for uh, a December 2022 graduation. Please read the attached uh, graduation information document for all the details that you need. As a qualifier, you need to check your academic record by the 11th of November 2022 to ensure that there are no errors with your name, program, and distinctions. That was obviously your master's. Yeah, yeah, that was my master's, yeah. So well, well, well done, Doc. Yeah, uh, well, um, <laughs> I know the Premier uh, sent out something on, on yeah. TikTok congratulating yeah. <laughs> you and... Um, I, th I thought it's just fitting for us at this point just to say well done on completing your your master's in, in medicine. Yeah, so that's my master's in medicine yeah, with a speciality of, of being family medicine. So family medicine is primary health care. So in a nutshell, it's, it sounds like a fancy word. Yes. But essentially it is the, sp uh, the space I, like, I love to operate in is the space between the community and the hospital. Wow. So that access space. Wow. There's a lot happening in the access because my phone like yaka da gasela my bro ek kan nie inkom by die hospitaal hier die security blok my o hulle sê ek moet terug gaan na die hospitaal toe yes. en ek moet terug gaan na die hospitaal toe wow. people don't understand the referral pathways wow. now, I'm not blaming them I hear you I am not blaming them because we sit in meetings and we strategize wow as the learned yes sir but it doesn't get to the bottom it doesn't get to now, the bottom now the advantage I got from being in Manenburg wow I get to measure what we discuss in the meetings on yes. top, if it's actually filtering down if, to the if, bottom. If it, if it gets So if I don't get any word at the bottom. It's not working. Then it forgives. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you, as you can hear, there is so much to talk about and we don't have all the time. Doc, firstly, I want to say thank you for making sure. the time. This is an ongoing and, and a, 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 a conversation we need to have. I didn't even go into some of the stuff yeah. that I really want to unpack. But just from my side, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much. And please, we're going to have to stay in contact because there's so much that we need to talk about, but also so much that we're going to do together. I spoke to the guys out um, in my hometown. And when I said to them, I've got Dr. Randall up, they say, please send our regards, <laughs> send yeah. our love, send our thanks. Uh, uh, my friend out uh, uh, at the New Apostolic Congregation, uh, uh, Andre Jacobs, yes. and uh, they were so chuffed with you coming out to Hamburg and just being a, a blessing. But from my side, ladies, gentlemen, that's it from Matters of the Heart with your host, uh, Isidore Duckett. Till next time, please don't forget, if you didn't download the app, if you didn't watch the YouTube, please like, share. Till next time, God bless you. Yeah.